Uh, hello YouTube, it's TechToys188, and I'm here to show you, uh, an app called, uh, Logitech Touch Mouse, and, um, I like the app for, uh, my computer, but you could also use it for your laptop, and what it does is, you just go into it, um, It'll have, you can either enter your IP address, or if you have the program running, it should show you. You click on it. Um, it's got a little mouse pad, and um, it also has left click, right click, um, and then you can type on it as a keyboard. So you can see on my computer there's my mouse and I'm moving it around with my touch screen here. I'll try and show you. It's getting way out of focus. Anyways, but yeah, you can see that it works. Now, um, all you're going to do is you're going to go to this website that I have in the description, and, um, it's going to send you to this web page. Now, I don't know if you can see this real well, but it says Logitech Touch Mouse Server and that's a picture of the app. All you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna choose which operating system you have. I don't know if you can see this real well, but I have XP, so you choose XP, and then it's gonna load, select a file, touch, okay, now you wanna do 32 bit, don't do 64, do 32. Now it's got all this crud about the program and things. Down here it's got this blue box. Download software. You're going to click that. Now I already have the software so I'm not going to do that but you click save to file. And then uh, once you do that uh, well it's not my downloads right now but it should download to downloads and then um, uh, you just click on it in your downloads and install it on your computer. So, uh, once you've installed it on your desktop, you're going to go to the start menu. Uh, all programs, it should be in there. And you can see there's Logitech Touch Mouse Server. You're going to pan it out. Click uh, the touch mouse sofa, and when you do that, it's going to create a little uh, icon down there. Mine, shoot, mine's right there, and it has a giant X on it right now. Now, when I go on my iPod here and I click on the app, it's gonna load. And I'm gonna Click my thing. Just connecting. Now it went from having the X to a little like finger thing. So once once you have the little icon down there, uh, you need to make sure it's down there before you try and run the app. And then just like I did, when you click on it, it should come up. And now it should have some kind of thing with your name and some numbers that it didn't have before. You're going to click that and it should operate fine. Now if you don't have that, all you're going to do is, well it says enter your computer's IP address. You're going to go down here, you're going to click on the little icon. Now this pops up. Now, 
I'm gonna leave mine below so you can't see my IP address. But it should be right here. You can see the words IP address. And there's mine. Now you're just going to type that IP address in on your iPod. And I'll just type mine in quick. So, yep, there it is, guys. Oh, you can't see it. Good. And then you're going to click done at the bottom. And it says connecting, and it should connect just fine. And when it does connect, it'll send you to the mouse pad. And if it doesn't connect, it won't. And then you're set up, guys. That's just about it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'll have the link to the uh, download in um, the description. So, uh, thanks, subscribe, and rate this video five stars.